Deadpool and Wolverine, Godzilla and King Kong, Transformers and G.I. Joe. These crossover movies are prevalent. They're everywhere. Are they good though? Is this a good practice that we want to continue forward? If we want to think about the epics of our generation, are we going to refer to these crossover periods as those epics? No! Writers and directors are getting too lazy and too confident with their stupid crossover ideas. I'm not standing for it, neither you should you. Literally, I'm not even gonna lie, let me just be real with you. I heard about the Wolverine and Deadpool movie and I, I was I was in shock. I was like, why? <laughs> why? It's just because they're popular characters. I even saw it in Tesco ads everywhere. I was, just, I was looking for my birthday to watch a movie and I saw it and I was like, What's the point? My way of protesting this awful, lazy, lazy writing is by seeing if I can do better with less. I'm gonna make a stupid crossover action movie so that I can prove how lazy these writers are being by adding these two franchises together and making these movies. Just to show that actually the amount of effort I'm gonna have to put in to make these stories cohesive just shows how much money they want to gain from just having two massive IPs in the same movie. There's no logic, there's no sense. And if you have time, check out my description. Okay, this is gonna be a very serious video because it's about protesting and it's about protesting things that I really like, like movies and fiction and fantasy and i'm just listen we're gonna have to be here the only thing that we're gonna focus on and that we have to stick with is that it's an action movie okay focused on action because all these crossover movies are like action movies okay so let's go i've got on many wheels we're gonna be spinning today we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be spinning today okay i don't want to hear no complaints yeah so we're gonna be spinning a lot of ideas a lot of characters a lot of plots and a lot of ideas things that, <laughs> that we need to consider and tropes and subgenres and stuff so we're gonna spin the character first character second character movie genre and the tropes the sub trope of the story uh, because i need a little bit of direction i can't just come up with nothing let's get to writing a terrible action movie so i can show you how actually nonsensical it is uh to do what they are doing i'm actually so fucking scared <laughs> Oh, please. I don't, do I have, do I reserve the right to like deny? <laughs> okay, if it's Wolverine or Deadpool, I'm not gonna do it. Cause that's, that's crossover. Or King Kong or Godzilla, cause I mentioned it. Or Transformers or G.I. Joe. And if it's a character I don't know, like at all, I don't think I'll do it either. If it has to be someone I know and it's not the ones I've already mentioned. That's my rule. Okay, I see Bakugo there. That's, that's terrifying me. Okay. Ugh. Ah! I'm scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Who's that? Darth Vader. <laughs> you know what? I can do Darth Vader. I can. The prequels, I, I can... I, 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 I watched them, I think, when I was younger. It's just the second one that's, the, that's gonna be... <laughs> Why is this so scary? I feel like I'm pressing the button of a bomb. <laughs> okay, um... Oh my god please please something good something emo something something that makes sense oni akuma i don't know who that is let me google nah i ain't know who this is street fighter nah, i don't know okay i'll do it again <laughs> oh my god 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 i'm so scared, so scared. hidan wait isn't that that guy from naruto <laughs> it is i don't remember him i don't remember him okay i'll spin one more time if it's another miss then i'll do he done he doesn't am i copping out it's just like i don't remember him so at least i'll fade i know his qualities doom guy can i spin one more time i just i don't i don't remember him at all i just know where he's from <laughs> or arthur morgan who the fuck is this? <sighs> Red Dead, oh, I haven't played. Just someone I can actually fathom. Spider-Man. Spider-Man Spider Spider and Darth Vader. <laughs> okay, that kind of sounds funny. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be upset and disappointed, and I am too, I am, in myself. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cop out and do Darth Vader and Spider-Man. Okay, I'm doing subgenre and then trope. I, yeah. Please, okay. Drama's okay. That's that's fine. Action drama. I can do that. That's easy. I would probably do drama anyways. <laughs> Romance would be funny though. <laughs> I kind of want to redo it. <laughs> okay, this time it's not going to be that. <clears throat> Secret marriage. <laughs> okay, so because it's not a romance, it can't be between Spider-Man and Darth Vader. I'm so sorry. But maybe like... 
wait okay it's coming together wait leia okay anakin was m okay okay it's coming together wait <laughs> so he's been isekai okay wait no don't brainstorm yet <laughs> What am I doing? I've got to think. So, so the Wolverine movie is like, he crosses paths with Deadpool and they defeat a common enemy. Cool. So problem is with Spider-Man, I actually know Spider-Man more than Darth Vader because I literally, I need to rewatch the prequels. I really, really do. Anakin, I'm pretty sure had a love interest. Anakin Skywalker. For a second, I was like, Anakin Skywalker, doesn't that mean he's Luke's dad? <laughs> What's wrong with me? I completely forgot for five seconds. Like, for, for a split second, I completely forgot the whole scene. Yeah, this was the girl from... She does a lot of perfume ads now. She... What happened to her? Why did she... Okay, this is gonna be spoilers for Star Wars and for some Spider-Man stuff. I don't know what, though. Dude, if I had the time or the energy, I would literally just rewatch the prequels <laughs> for the sake of this video. I ain't doing that. Okay, what's better? Because... Anakin could be a good Spider-Man villain. Like, I feel like he has the vibe. Has anybody ever considered having Spider-Man face against Anakin Skywalker? It could be Spider-Man 3. I mean, 4. I'm gonna use Darth Vader as the villain. Because Anakin Skywalker, I was considering, oh, maybe Anakin Skywalker could be, like, friends with Peter Parker, and then we could go through his arc of death. But the thing is, is Anakin comes from, like, a sci-fi world. He doesn't even come from, like, what, Earth? I don't, uh, what is he? Like, he, uh, maybe he does. I don't know, but he, like, he's not... Then they don't live in like earth and stuff. So I need to put it to earth. I need to put it to where Peter is. So if we make a Spider-Man movie and then we have Darth Vader you are so <laughs> that's the villain. Crazy. <laughs> then maybe that could work. Cause Darth Vader is more mm, interesting as a villain. Like, let's just go because it said Darth Vader. It didn't say Anakin Skywalker, it said Darth Vader. So let's go. It's Darth Vader, Spider-Man, drama action secret marriage the drama will come from the fact that there's a secret marriage okay it's coming it's coming together okay so let's let's start with the plan is there like a world ending foe because if i'm thinking spider-man tom holland he has relations with the space and stuff and i'll be clarifying i mean this is an action movie so i'm gonna use movie movie not comic so with the movies i think i've seen pretty much all of them the dog arc green goblin venom was toby Maguire. what did tom holland do not far from home just the fucking homecoming who's that against the vulture oh yeah that wasn't very good far from home mysterio oh yeah none of these were i can't lie like tom holland the spider-man is good but none of the plots were that great you know what let's think no way home kind of vibes and then let's say that he knows doctor strange because you know tom holland knows doctor strange and so let's say that the universes get messed up and spider-man lands in an earth where darth vader is do, okay are we keeping peter on earth or are we putting him in star wars because i feel like if it's a star wars spider-man collab bringing darth vader just to queens or whatever he is it's kind of lame but then bringing peter to like the death star and all those places is also that would be excessively difficult to manage especially because i can't remember everything <laughs> should i watch like recaps let me do a darth vader recap <clears throat> Darth Vader might be the most iconic villain of all time, but his humble beginnings aren't so fondly remembered. From the sand dunes of Tatooine to the planet-destroying Death Stars, let's go through his live-action evolution. Animated, sports a bowl cut and dirty clothing. After oh, having his blood tested by a Obi-Wan takes him under his <laughs> wing, he's then made to wear Padawan robes and sport a braid. Meanwhile, Anakin develops a crush on Padme, the Queen of Naboo. Ten years later, in Attack of the Clones, <laughs> Should I subscribe to this YouTube channel? <laughs> what was that? Do you like Belts little a crush boys? On Padme, the queen oh, no. of Naboo. I'm so <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, so I just watched that. I didn't remember, like, at all that Darth Vader became a good guy in the end of the sequels. When people say Star Wars, those movies, right? I didn't remember that at all, which has changed my perspective quite a lot. Hmm, maybe... It could be between the sequels and the prequels. I need to decide whether I want this to be in Spider-Man's universe or in 
in Anakin's universe or both okay instead let me think what's the point that's the whole reason why I start with this, these sentences what is the point Spider-Man turns not turns Darth Vader into a good guy maybe learns from Darth Vader it could be turns into a good guy but the thing is he already has the art from his son like I, I feel like the the idea is gonna be you know what it's gonna be Spider-Man and Darth Vader meet and they have a, they have a, a, a contact and they fight and they figure stuff out while there's this marriage going on this secret marriage going on that somehow relates to both of their characters some reason it's important maybe it's the marriage of uh, a universe <laughs> like secretly the universe of being married no 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 let's say mary jane and does anakin have a, a number two nah someone or maybe just a political marriage that they both are aware of maybe there's like a marriage that darth vader is trying to stop and then spider-man tries to save them from dying why did darth vader kill people unnecessarily right because he killed his wife ah okay so basically he's upset he's hating vengeful because he thinks that everyone's going against him and so maybe he sees some secret marriage happening this is kind of complicated but okay so it's not supposed to be an hour five hour seven long hour video where i'm like pitching it by the end <laughs> i'm going to direct it like me movie movie studios and i'm pitching the story it's not supposed to be that long basically spider-man is like in this tift and essentially he gets flung into a universe the star wars universe not 100 sure but whatever darth vader is like ruling and everything maybe there's a sequence of of um peter running around in a maybe the death star who knows and he is like finding things out and then he finds out that darth vader is this guy who seems very evil and terrible who's trying and plotting to kill this woman in a secret marriage or to at least render her unconscious. We find out that like this marriage and everything is reminiscent of his own marriage. The woman even looks like Padme and he just is like, this is gonna turn out terrible. She's conspiring against him. It's a political marriage. I don't care about the guy, but I just wanna stop it because it pisses me off and it's in my space and I just wanna get it done. And it's those stupid rebels. I don't know, something along these lines. He just spreads chaos, right? So that's his thing. And Spider-Man is obviously like, where the fuck am I? But he's a genius, right? Spider-Man's a genius. He's a tech genius. Oh my God, it's coming together. Spider-Man is a tech genius. He understands how to use the ships and fly things and he's like, how am I going to get home? Oh, giggity, goddy, goddy. And basically, he eventually finds a planet or something where he can be... It's similar to Queens and he's kind of blending in, yada, yada, yada. He's only at this planet because he's trying to figure out what happened. How did he get here? Yada, yada, yada. I should write this down. I'm not going to. I can't be bothered anymore. I'm just going to tell you because it's, it's in my head, okay? So he's like, okay, I, I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be here, but you know, I'm getting tips. I'm getting stuff about magic. He's of magic because he's not really encountered much magic at this point he's just more so friendly neighborhood spider-man and just before he even came he was probably just doing something very normal like saving someone when he fell into a pool and so he is figuring out what happens and then there's another event with the secret marriage that nobody really knows about but Peter is somehow doing doing a bit of detective work i don't think he's that much of a detective especially not comp compared to like batman or something so he finds out stuff about the marriage the secret marriage and he stops some stormtroopers trying to like kill people in association with the marriage we, we find out this marriage is very political yes like Darth Vader said and there's a lot of issues with it it's like to cover up something something bad obviously that doesn't account for people being killed he learns how to use some tech that he needs to be sure that he's not like floating off into the air with the gravity yada yada, yada. but Spider-Man Peter is like I said a tech genius he knows how to maneuver sci-fi gear he can do it he learns he's there for a bit and he's He's trying to stop Darth Vader without directly confronting him because he saw the power that the man had when he was in space in the Death Star whatever that he landed in before he escaped and he made his big escape. Come to find out that the marriage is slowly but surely going to be public and this marriage is going to inevitably affect a lot of people. Peter is on the ground in another planet and asking what and it's like some just some massive thing like maybe it will lead to the death of a lot of people or maybe it will lead to something else and peter's like well i can't leave these people to to die because he just gets a lead when he finds that out so he's like i want to go home and i'm almost gonna go home because there's a magician who's saying that there's someone who they know from earth da, 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 and there's a link but he's like i've got to stop this i have to figure this out and i've got to stop darth vader from trying to to kill these two people just to stop a marriage there's a way that we can figure this out somehow this is the drama aspect of this slowly but surely the secret marriage is not as secret as it was in the beginning and eventually 
eventually it comes into public eye just before it actually happens. People protest, people are upset, and then there is a mass killing that's not stormtroopers but another party who silence the protests of the marriage. Darth Vader comes and it's like this is you know he's like what the fuck you know what i'm gonna just sort this out i'm gonna finish this out and then it turns out peter's there just he arrives just after everybody gets shot and he's like i've got to fix this too and they come together they fight who would win darth vader or spider-man let me check <laughs> i don't want to be wrong i don't want to be wrong and then have people be like what are you talking about you're still off your rocker you're still off your rocker darth vader versus spider-man i think spider-man would definitely lose right yeah so basically, Darth Vader overpowers him, it's a force choke. But the only reason it starts to become a bit more levelly played is because Peter, let's say he's outsmarted him. Because I feel like nobody really emphasised that, like how smart Peter is. Because I read it and I was like, oh my god, yeah, he's so smart. So maybe he like has predicted that Darth Vader might come to this where they've you know announced it and lots of people been killed and protests and stuff to like silence the i don't know he thought he thought that darth vader was the one who silenced the people so peter is pissed and darth vader is like oh my god what's going on and so he like laid a trap basically and somehow he's kind of not won but they're at a somewhat standstill because apparently darth vader would have won instantly so you know and so now peter is like oh okay you're the one who did this da, 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 because he doesn't know the rules of the world because it looked like stormtroopers and they were dressed in white and maybe it was actually stormtroopers but it was like planted stormtroopers like people controlled or stormtroopers it was just it looked like it was Darth Vader for some whatever reason it looked like it was him but then we find out it wasn't him and that Darth Vader's primary targets is the married couple who are or the people who are going to get married because he knows how much it's going to affect everything and he doesn't want it and he also was reminded that she looked like Padme his previous lover who he thought was manipulating him and so Peter is like wait you didn't kill them but you still want to kill them and they have this kind of tiff when they have to when peter has to go and save someone and then vader uh goes off but then maybe there's a way to make them fight together i don't know but they somehow do that and maybe they're trapped somewhere something complicated just some way to force them to bond i don't know how it would be but something like that and then we would have them bond ish and then they'd be confronted with the married couple and then darth vader wants to kill them and peter has to talk him down essentially and spider-man like is getting choked or whatever while he's trying to get in the way and shooting him and stuff with the webs and stuff uh, let's say maybe there's a temporal rift mid conversation or maybe that's what uh, makes them bond but something happens to interrupt it um peter is like okay i'm gonna be able to use this for my advantage but then vader is like nah i'm gonna kill these bitches and he does kill them and spider-man's like what the fuck like i came here to you know i i put off everything to save them so that i could at least go home with confidence because the, the lead he had is now maybe not dry but you know it's lower and he's risked all, it all for that but it doesn't work because Darth Vader still kills them only to find out that oh these were actually the cause of the dimensional rift maybe I'm a genius <laughs> maybe i'm a genius i just came up with that on the spot they're the cause of the dimensional rift they're the cause of everything that's going wrong because they are actually these demonic creatures that try to mesh planets and if they became in control of this planet then they would try to fold the universes on themselves and that is the problem so neither are right vader just kills them because he thinks that well he kills the woman more so maybe the guy just dies in the collateral or something but he kills the woman because he thinks she's manipulating but it turns out no she's literally just the cause of the dimensional rifts and she's gonna try and she's like this demon the creature she's gonna try and control everything everything and then the final battle is basically against her because after she dies her physical body changes and it becomes this big battle and then they separate and spider-man is able to use the link he had the lead he had like doctor strange and everything which is and this magician to go through a portal home that the other person didn't create maybe the creature like finally dies dies like the final boss finally dies dies and becomes a portal or something i don't know but he goes home and on his way like he's like i misjudged you but maybe consider not being so crazy and darth vader is like well i'm not here to be a good guy <laughs> and they kind of leave it on that note and then dr strange is on the other side of the dimensional rift and uh yeah the movie just kind of 
ends. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. I don't know. Like it just it ends. And Spider Man has learned that some people are morally corrupt, but they ultimately will do what they think is the right thing. So he still did kill her because he thought that the guy was being manipulated and for the greater good, but he didn't actually mean it. He like he was still doing being selfish in the way he was thinking about it. And massacres a lot of people for that sake, which Peter remembers with horror. And Spider-Man's like, damn, that was crazy. <laughs> well at least i didn't waste my time trying to save innocent people basically maybe he sees mary jane i don't know and he's like you're not manipulating me right <laughs> and then it ends like something like that see that that's a pretty good movie wow wait in Ozia, did you actually create something that's actually kind of good wait i impressed myself i impressed myself I'm amazing. Did you know that? Okay, let's just do the finishing touches. So who am I casting? Well, I mean, th really that's only a question for Spider-Man. I could do Tom Holland or I could do Tobey Maguire or I could do neither. I feel like, you know what? I, I just feel, I feel like Tom Holland isn't the best Spider-Man. I do really think he's decent, but I feel like there are better. You know what? Let's just be safe. Let's, let's just be nice and not a dipshit. Let's give it to the guy who already who already has it. I was gonna say Tom Holland Young is just gonna show like infant pigs. <laughs> Tom Holland Young. Goo goo gaga. Thing is, I don't see him as smart. No offense, Tom, please. Not none of these. I'm not I'm really not trying to be offensive like right now. I'm just saying, like, I don't see him as like Spider-Man smart. Like, I don't think he gives me that. Ah, I'm pretty smart. But he could give me that. I think I think he gets it, but I don't know how good Tom would be at portraying like a serious guy. But to be fair, Spider-Man isn't serious. Like like they try to make him too emo. I think Tom Holland has that good like I'm um, just a kid, you know, vibe. But yeah, actually, you know what? Because I don't want his new tech gear. So if we just do Tom Holland Spider-Man, the first one, Homecoming, let's just do that. It's a new movie. It's coming out 2024. I don't. I we don't. We can't use Tobey Maguire from Young because that he doesn't exist anymore. Okay, let's use Tom Holland's Peter Parker. This is our Spider-Man, right? And then we're gonna use Anakin Skywalker. Who who played Anakin Skywalker? I'm so sorry, I can't spell Walker. Um, let's just have it be the same guy because it's just gonna be Darth Vader in a uniform. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> let's just have it be Hayden Christian Sen. Uh, yeah, any of these, I don't really care. The shiny one, maybe. Let's go with the shiny one. Because that, you know, that's in between the sequels and the prequels. So whichever uniform that was. What other casting do we need? Doctor Strange? I mean, obviously Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's, I don't want to see anyone do other, else do Doctor Strange if it's not Benedict. He's a really good casting for him, I think. I haven't read the comics or anything or watched the animated stuff, but I think he does Doctor Strange well for somebody who doesn't know Doctor Strange very well. And then the married couple anyone I, I couldn't care less let's make them i don't i don't literally i don't care and just a random alien race or sort of couple of people i don't fucking know composer are you out of your mind why was i why was i like oh let me do a composer let's do the same guy who did what what vibe do we want to okay so we have isn't that but that's boy john williams and then we got avengers ost who is by alan silvestri let's go with the star wars music so we'll go with john williams yeah i want a more dramatic vibe for this movie because this you know genre is a subgenre. let's 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 do that this is an epic spider-man is in an epic right now okay so let's just do john williams okay yeah i'm kind of like you know like the sim a sim if it has the inspired thing that's what i feel like right now okay last but not least the title okay let's look at the other one so deadpool and wolverine godzilla x kong transformers slash gi joe still don't know who gi joe is cotton eye joe well i've heard of cotton eye joe <laughs> where did you come from where did you go where did you come from cotton eye joe so is this a spider-man movie this is a spider-man movie or is it a Darth Vader movie. Nah, it's more like a Spider-Man movie. Then it's both at the same time, if you understand what I'm saying. So maybe Spider-Man and Darth Vader is just, just a good, just a good title. You know what? I think to keep the essence of what we're doing here, I'm just gonna call it, let's just call it Spider-Man and Darth Vader. And that's Spider-Man and Darth Vader. 
If you want to do one thing, subscribe. Otherwise, you know, check out my other videos, my channel, and tell me. If you want me to do this again, I can spin again and try again. Maybe next time I'll do an Naruto character. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, oh, oh. And then I take a break. Goodbye. Bye. Spider Man and Dolphin. Actually, this is actually going to make a good story. <laughs> like, like, I actually would watch that. Like, something that's really thought out. Like, it's supposed to be funny, but I actually made it really good. <laughs> okay. Ta -da!